We've made it out on the lake now. It is windy. We've got the crew and myself, Shane, and then Hunter and his buddy behind us. We drilled one hole, looked around at the live scope, spotted like 10 or 12 fish that we're gonna set up here. My recommendation is always, especially walleye, drill all your holes first, almost like crappie fishing. That way, if you're fishing in a hole and you see a, a, a fish 25 feet away and there's a hole over there, you don't have to grab the auger, go drill, possibly scare the fish, waste time. You already have a hole there and you can drop down and catch that fish. So we're just gonna drill a bunch of holes first, get set up, show you guys what we're using, and yeah, enjoy. Okay, so we're finally set up. Boston got the first fish of the day, right around 20 inches. Fishing about 10 feet of water. Like, so we found an active school fish, or not an active school, we found a bunch of fish on live scope yesterday when I was out filming with Shane. Figured today with more lines, more people, might be able to get a few more top sides. So that is our plan so far. I'm using my all time favorite. This is a Element Custom Bait 60 in the sexiest shad. Switched out the hooks to some Ichikawas. If you find you're losing some fish every now and then on the hook sets, try changing it to a sharp hook. It makes a big difference. Um, 42. Elliot's Evolution, fast, 10 pound Power Pro, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And if that doesn't seal it, I got the Wing Ding, also in that sexiest shad, or I'll change up to a Northland Buckshot. I'm um, gonna tip that off with a little piece of minnow. And yeah, that's the plan. See if we can drop down there and get some fish. Oh, there's two over there. Oh, there's a big one coming into me now. Okay, there he is. This is on that rattle bait. Hopefully he comes in and crushes it. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah, come on and look up and eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, big one, big one, big one. Oh no, it's dropped the lip cord. Good one, fellas. That was a matter, oh my gosh. That was, that was not scripted at all. That just happened. First fish of the day. There it is. Saw the rattlebait and could not resist. Woo! Shane, get over here. Get in the double hook, get behind me, get behind me. Over here, come over here. Well, one of them ain't quite like the other. No, but, but that is awesome. Woo! Gotta release that bad girl. Nicely done. You first. Off she goes. That's like a mid 20s fish. Nice. Woo! Good job, dude. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Golly, that was awesome. Oh, there's fish everywhere. You go to that hole over there. Sometimes you just give it a little bit of time, let the rattle do its thing. There's one, two fish over there. They don't look small. Yeah, Shay, there's lots of fish around here again. Yeah. Oh, there's one. There's, there's one coming. Oh, oh, it went right past me. Oh, it's coming back now. Oh, another one. Feels like he's got some weight too. Oh, <laughs> it's another good one. Oh, another 20 inch or so fish. There it is. Another one, beautiful emerald green color to it. Drop that down. Going back. And off she goes. Beautiful. Gotta get back down there. Oh, I got another one coming in, guys. Oh my gosh. Just shake it. Oh, we missed it. Come back, turn around. Yeah, he's turning around. Make him go vertical. 
No. Wow. He's up high for it. He is up high for it. Shake it back down. Rattle it on the spot a few times. Oh, there's two there. Holy smokes. Oh. Those look good. I'm just going to rattle it on the spot. Pounce it up and down. Hopefully get one of these to bite. They don't look small. Oh yeah, this one looks like he's gonna come up. He's coming vertical for it, yeah. Oh, he just, he tapped it. I heard my rattle go, oh, the other one might compete for it. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Come on, come back and eat it. Oh no. Oh, here we go. His buddy's gonna eat it. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, there we go. Shook it really aggressively there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna drop it right back down. See if he likes this. Now pull it up away from him a bit. Make him work for it. There we go. Another one. Oh, that one took a little bit more caressing. That's a good eater. Other one was definitely a little bit bigger, but there we go. Hard to resist that uh, sexiest shad color. That one will feed the belly. Yeah, I got a longer one coming in right now. Oh yeah, it's a big one if it comes and eats. Just gonna bounce it on the spot a bit, and when he gets close, just kind of pull it away really slowly. Oh, he looks engaged. Oh. Big one. Eek. Off the new shirt. Oh my gosh. There it is. Another big green back. Look how he munched it. Crushed it. That is awesome. Always a good idea every like minute or so. I always just give my line a little tug, make sure nothing's frozen up clear your guides as much as you can, especially when you're fishing outside. It's not cold today, it's only like minus two, but the wind, once the water gets in the metal, freezes up, so. Oh, looks like he, mm. don't wanna to get too excited, but it looks pretty good. Kinda of hit that little dead spot in the live scope. Oh, they're just, they're not wanting to come in this way. Might have to full hop over there to really get him to commit or something, or put this bait in front of him. It's like a 25, 26 inch fish. It's going right back. It's windy today, so you gotta get these fish back as fast as you can so their eyes don't freeze and doesn't harm them, so. Cool. That's another mid 20 inch fish for me. The thing about like Winnipeg too is you really get out of it what you put into it. If you're just gonna go set up a tent and relax and catch fish, that that's fine, but you can't really have a high expectation of catching a bunch and, a, and big fish. Like it does happen rarely, but if you're willing to suffer a bit outside, do some hole hopping, you can really get rewarded for the work that you put in. Um, like today, I'm just fishing outside the whole time and then every hour or so, if you don't catch anything, we'll just make a small little move. Um, and that'll just hopefully help us stay an active fish. What's going on? Oh, really, we're back to this again? I have one coming in with speed. Oh yeah, he's gonna see this and absolutely crush it, I think. Come on. Yeah. Oh! oh. Eater. Ho! Oh. That one saw it from like six feet away and Put it into overdrive. Boom, rattle beats our king. Nice, another eater. I don't think I've ever seen walleye more aggressive on Lake Winnipeg than today. This has been incredible so far. Rattle baits are so, rattle beats are so key for Lake Winnipeg. 
All right, so it's just turned past 10 o'clock and I've had a few fish come in on the rattle baits and they not liked it at all. They literally turned around down the opposite way. So might try throwing this down now. It's a little buckshot coffin minnow um, with a little piece of salt minnow on it. Probably break that minnow in half so it doesn't affect the action of the bait too much, but just kind of whole hop in here. It's definitely slowed down. It was totally a morning bite for the first like hour. It was just like everyone was getting some fish, getting some action and now it's kind of slowed down. So you might have to make a little move out deeper, maybe a little shallower towards this little pressure ridge behind us. We'll see. Um, Gonna give it our all though. So it's about 10.30 now. We have not marked fish in a while. We're just gonna make a small little move, about 300 yards, a little bit deeper, get about a foot of water. Drill a hole, mark, hopefully a few fish on a scope and set up there. If not, we'll drive another 200 yards. Just keep moving, keep staying mobile. mobile. The wind today is gnarly, um, not fun, but that's why they call it Big Windy. Oh, fellas. Oh, fellas. Turn up and eat. Oh yeah, come on, eat. Two good ones or what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a big fish. It's another one coming in. Oh, come on, slithering on bottom, looks like a good one. Oh yeah, he sees it, going full speed, yeah. Oh, big one, nice. Kick down. It wasn't that big, but dang it. Now I'm soaked. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. No, it was an eater. There's more over there. No. You got one? Atta boy. You're going to be YouTube famous. First like Winnipeg boy. Sweet. He's going back? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll get that uh, I'll get that picture from Josh. Oh my gosh. Changed up to a slender spoon. A little more of a finesse spoon to see if it changes anything I got two fish coming in right now both look pretty decent I'm just gonna flutter this really nice and slow let it flutter down got a tipped off a little piece of minnow and I'm hoping we can get one of these things to bite he's about seven feet away fluttering it nice and slow it's a little gold one. Nose is about six feet away. There's another one coming behind it. Five feet away. Oh, it's coming in. Looks like a pretty big fish. You can just do a little up and then drop it down to flutter. Oh, we like that. Bit on! He really liked that. He really liked that flutter. Oh, it line's frozen. Woo! Oh, and it broke. Broke in his mouth. Awesome. And there was a second one behind it, but uh, I'm gonna have to go get some pliers and get that thing out. I was able to get it out with my hands. That's a little too big to keep, in my opinion, so we're gonna put that thing right back. Awesome. Cool. It's a good fish. Well, as soon as I changed up to that spoon and I dropped it in front of that first fish, it bit. So that was the first 
bites in a while. We've been trying a bunch of other stuff and it has not been working. So we're gonna grind out the tried and true slender spoon. Oh, it turned around, did not like that. Well, that is gonna wrap up today's little adventure out here in Lake Winnipeg. It was a little windy, Boston. He got uh, two or three fish. I started a song. Yeah, song, he did. He got the very first. Fizzled out, but, uh, but he got a big one. He got like a, yeah, a mid 20 inch fish. The boy stayed steady though. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Shane's yeah. behind us over here, still grinding it out, but he caught some really good fish today too. And we got Hunter and his buddy, who I forget his name, Brendan. He got his first Lake Winnipeg walleye today. And uh, yeah, it was overall a fantastic day. Way windier than it was supposed to be. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new here, drop that subscribe button. B-Town, want to say anything to the uh, the people as usual? Um, well, I'm going to say that obviously it started out strong first thing in the morning. <laughs> and then it gradually got a little bit slower. That's in, like That's expected. Fishing. But uh, yeah, I mean, constant bite through the morning. So I uh, can't complain. Good day out with the boys. Nice. Okay. And as usual, oh. gotta get Mr. Hunter's uh, little little take. Hunter, yeah. anything you want to say? Just like and subscribe because if he keeps going, he's taking me out fishing. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, see you guys next video.